Vran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arya. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squiatel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there and once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well. National interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the General's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit.
And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Dyfen Aden in Karn Eb Marvut, Emir Var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian nomen, vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. 
please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts need not bother. And it's past noon. Calm yourself. In what? what? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard II, the Prince of Elanda. Not yeah. only am I made to wait here like a I mean. like supplicant. Rad Sleden er enigt es nun der mir seht. Sauer an den Feier. Er der Ordnung. Es ist hier Äpfse. Äpfinser nen Kreide. Nen Kofurt. Er ist so wat gaffen. Es frage. Es sieht. Til schoe e weich. Can we brain a guard? And self it then carche. As a plantain at not make. And self it then sick yard head. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes, then transcribe. True authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. 
So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. A Vedian Dokas. Kids. One false move. Mm -hmm. See ya. Ren Batgam, Batgam. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Come on. Who will protect us poor from the cutthroats? We shouldn't. We can't lose hope.
faster. Good ladies, they say. Merciful ladies. Where's all that faith coming? Wild hunt take What's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Piss off, or we'll fry you along with a fucking elf! There's a third way out of this situation. What was this about? Why'd they want to burn you alive? They came to rob me. I refused to betray where I keep my valuables, so they brought in a cart full of firewood, barred me inside, and set fire to the thing! Probably counting on you being swayed. Though I doubt they would have let you live even if you'd talked. I've yet to thank you for your aid, Vatgern. My coin lies concealed in a hollowed-out stump behind the house. Take what you wish. It's dangerous to possess too much in these times. Thank you. Farewell.
Let's go. Stranger's coming! Run for your lives! I'll not give her up, not on me life! We hear her squealing. They'll kill us and take her all the time. So I'll slaughter her myself. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Wanna talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, Vodka. Who's this? Uh, brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. I step in the hut. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I see he probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> the high bell. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. <laughs> I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Thank you. 
Slower. Word is the parks fell on whole villages near Brazima. Faster. strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, and the mist. Whoever you is, get away! Calm down, it's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them.
here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> Traces of ice around the footprints. Really? Just wonderful. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Purge. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn.
That's it, Roach. Got eh? Not ask that. Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? Me lad, it's not exactly burst him, but what he got, sure to please. Like to take a look.
farewell. That was a bowl's fault. Not my fault he ended six feet Used under the bushes. Used to be wagon showed on market yeah, days. Loaded with all kinds of bad. Rifles, move it! That seems it has my breath. I think a smudge. Baron home? Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him? Huh. Yeah. And I wanna plow the lovely Queen Seru. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we have none but him. Open the gate. Sergeants! Ardle! Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Tamarian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Tamarian army don't exist, no. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Tamaria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah, Commander. Lowy, hang on. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the Blobtits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blobtits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, 
Others, their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Sent some beasts from the woods and tapped her before she could reach the village. You can calm down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? <laughs> it's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. But then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But. No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Short, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. 
Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Mm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When do children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. You'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Right? Are you? No. <laughs> 
What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do! Hide! Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, dammit! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. <laughs> when she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that a deer's wump on the other side of the wall? 
You see it there? Oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive, wounded. Damn it! Jammed again. Adventure incense. Tomorrow's room is an old key. Under the locks. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as sandalwood, they left it. and something else. Saffron. Different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side? Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks, hit with a heavy object. Huh, rest of the candlestick, and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Pam Param, Pam Pam Param, Pam Param. Damn, trail breaks off. Mm. Spruce wood. Find something else. Though. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman, protective. Question is. Against what? Won't find much else here. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? made it to Velen.
done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Wanna have a chat with this Pella? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Ram, pam, pam, param. Ram. Time to water the horses. What are you doing? Why are you chopping this? I'm fashioning and Help me I assist you. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Comfortable, strong, and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Oi, lads. Fancy an outing? Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Huh? We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in pleasant? Show me what you got. See ya. What's that you're muttering? to water the horses. 